Hey everyone, Jane here at Atrial Toyota here in Brampton and right now you're looking at two trucks instead of one. So yes, we have something a little special for you today. We're going to show you exactly what we can do to modify the beautiful 4Runner and I'm going to bring in a special guest today seeing as it's his truck so he's going to walk us through all of the differences. So this is Daryl Merritt. Hey everyone, this is a 2016 V6 SR5 4Runner. Both of these trucks are identical. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the things that we did to make this truck unique, something that you can do to make your truck yours. The first thing and the, fir uh, the first thing that everybody notices is the grill on this truck. Um, we took inspiration from the TRD Pro, which has a, a little bit different grill that here that says Toyota across the front, but they, they dark this out. Um, and we use Plasti Dip to cover the whole front. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's like a rubberized paint that you can actually take off. So we cover the badge and the grill just to give it a, a really aggressive look. Um, moving over here, we put 6,000K HID headlights in there so that they actually have that nice cool look to them. They got that blue tinge to them and, and as opposed to the yellow that you'll see come out of the regular SR5 and they're super bright. And then we put uh, 4,000 lumen LED fog light in there. So doesn't use a lot of power if you want to light up a space and turn off your car you're not going to drain your battery using those lights they work fantastic um, a couple other things around here first thing you'll notice uh, actually another thing you'll notice is the fender flares they're plasti dipped as well they're blacked out they're white on the normal truck my favorite part of this truck are the, these wheels and tires we've got fuel off-road recoil wheels okay they're a 17 inch in diameter by eight and a half wide uh, we strap them with bfg all-terrain ko2 tires kept the white letters out to get uh, uh, some swag happening with this vehicle between white and black um, a really awesome if, if jane you want to show this really awesome uh, aggressive sidewall it doesn't look really boring and aggressive tread in there um, i really like the look of these tires and the most important thing for a guy like me that does a lot of driving on the road, they're super quiet. Don't hear any different than a regular radio. Um, the next thing you'll notice is that we blacked out the mirrors. You can see again in our regular SR5 back there, the white mirrors, um, just to, again, get some more contrast happening in this truck. We've got a sun strip up front, tinted front windows to go along with the privacy glass that's stopped on the vehicle. We blacked out the roof rails. Uh, on the stock vehicle, they're silver, you'll see. We added crossbars up here so that we can throw any canoes, kayaks. If you've got one of those foldable tents that come off of the roof, you can strap it on there. Um, these are actually the stock running boards. They're uh, really heavy duty. They're a composite material, so they're not going to rust. They're not going to get scratched. Um, again, the fender flares. We took a lot of time to actually black out uh, the badging on this car. I think it really sets it off as opposed to having chrome. It took a long time with that exacto knife. In the back you've got LED taillights. Really nice and bright. Again, don't use a lot of energy. People can really see you well at night. Um, we've got a hitch on the back with a 7-pin and 4-pin connector. And then one of my favorite things, if you've got everything jammed in the back, like I have my camping equipment, and you still want to put something in the back, can put down the rear window still throw a bunch of your items in the back here and then not have everything come pouring out it's also nice on maybe sometimes a little bit of a cooler day or if it's raining you can keep the back window open and have some fresh air coming in the back um, everything else you're seeing here is actually standard um, again on the back we took a lot of time with plasti dip and an exacto knife and to black out the forerunner and the badging again get that contrast going between white and black um, and yeah, so that is the exterior of this 4Runner. If you, Jane, want to do a quick spin around of both trucks, you get a good idea of uh, what can be done. And I mean, we're talking Plasti Dip here and time. Plasti Dip's not too expensive. Uh, you know, a little wheels and tires, and it can go a long way. So that was a pretty awesome walk around from our good friend Daryl. But now let's bring you inside, and I'll show you some of its interior features. So first of all, it does have keyless entry, so as long as you click unlock on that key fob, it will allow you right into the vehicle. On the driver's side door here, you have your controls for your power windows as well as your power locks. And just underneath, we have a couple spots for some bottle storage as well as some regular storage in the door. 
before I bring you inside, I just want to point out that it is an eight-way power driver's seat with lumbar support. So I think this is not only a great convenience feature, but also a great safety feature, especially when you want to adjust your seat when already on the road. Bringing you inside here. On the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we have our controls for our side view mirrors. So simply click it to left, use your arrows, over to the right-hand side, arrows again, and once it's back in that center position, nothing will move. This can dim the lights on your dashboard. We have our windshield defroster. This button will activate all of your power outlets. Just down here is where you can pop your hood. And of course, your emergency brake is located on the floor of this vehicle. On the steering wheel, we have tons of controls. They are mostly for audio visual. So you do have all of your arrows as well as your select and your back button. We have our mode button, which will bring you through whether you're listening to AM, FM, a CD player, all that good stuff. And our volume is located right here. On this side, we have our Bluetooth controls. So we have our pickup as well as our hang up, our voice recognition button, and your display button is for your multi-information display, which you can see right in the center of your dash there. So simply by clicking through it, you can see all the different settings. And just underneath that display button, we have our cruise control in this vehicle as well. Bringing you into the center, it is a six inch touchscreen display. It does come integrated with AM, FM, XM, Bluetooth, a CD player, a reverse camera, and the navigation system itself. So to open the navigation system, all you wanna do is touch that screen once and it will open to full screen. Everything is up to date and the voice recognition works wonders in this, vic in this vehicle. So definitely a great safety feature as it does keep your hands on the wheel as much as possible. I'll quickly throw it into reverse for you just so you can see that picture there as well. Definitely a nice, safe, useful tool. Just underneath that wonderful screen, we have all of our air control. Everything is through these giant dials here. And I absolutely love not only the look of that, but I think it also adds a bit of safety feature as well, as it's very, very easy to use. And again, keeps your eyes on the road. Just underneath all that air control, we have our USB input, our auxiliary input, as well as a power outlet. And of course, we have some storage containers just down the center. We have our four low, our high four, and our high two um, drive settings there. So definitely use the appropriate one if you are going off-roading. We have three cup holders down the, sorry, two cup holders down the center and some storage. It is an automatic transmission in this vehicle. However, you can flip it over to Tiptronic if you would prefer to do gear changes yourself. I think that's a great feature to add, especially when you are towing things around. I tend to find that some vehicles, when you are going up and down hills, will jump revs. Not saying this one will, but if it does happen, you have the ability of controlling that yourself. Just behind that, we have our heated seat control for your pa uh, driver as well as your passenger. And this here is that rear view window, which he showed you before, but I'll quickly just show you again. So by clicking that button, that will put that whole glass down, which I think is a fantastic feature they've added. We have a center console here that is full of Daryl's stuff, but it is nice and large. So definitely lots of storage in this car as well. As for the seats, they are a beautiful soft tex leather seat. They are a bucket seat. They have a beautiful gray patterning going down the center of them. So not only are they very eye-catching, they're also very comfortable and very easy to clean. Up top here, we have our power moonroof. Nothing beats fresh air and sunlight. All of your controls for your moonroof are located just up here. So we have our slide or your up and down if you just want it to be tilted. Beside that, we have our light controls. We have our three garage door openers. This is where you can turn your traction control on and off. We have our automatic traction and we have our downhill assist control. So definitely a whole bunch of settings to play with, especially again, if you are somebody who's going off-roading or towing things around, all of these are great features that they've included in this beautiful 4Runner. Up top here, we also have a sunglass holder with a little cushy pad on the inside so that they won't get scratched. And we have dual overhead illuminated vanity mirrors. So if you are a lovely lady that's looking for a 4Runner, don't worry, you can definitely fix your lipstick at a red light. 
So there you have it, the front seat of this beautiful 4Runner. Bringing you into the rear seating of this 4Runner, that soft text leather is carried throughout the vehicle, as well as that beautiful gray going down the center of the seats. So again, not just eye-catching, but also very comfortable. Bringing you inside, they've given us a few features, one of which being our contoured front seat back. So that's very simple. However, what it does is it allows a little more leg room from the back passengers to the seats in front of them. So great feature that they've added in these beautiful forerunners. We have seat back pockets in both the driver as well as the passenger side seat. We have bottle holders and storage in both the doors, as well as the ability of opening and closing our own windows. Behind the center console, we have our own air vents as well as two power outlets. So if you do want to charge devices, you no longer need to run cords to the front of the vehicle. Everything can be nicely tucked away in the back here. And before we talk about cargo space, I just want to point out that this little lever here, when you pull that up, those seats are going to fold flat and they are going to give you access to our third row seating. Now I do not have the third row up at the moment, however it is another two passenger seating. So in total this vehicle can fit seven people, which is pretty awesome. So there you have it, the back of the 4Runner. Alright, so let's talk about cargo space. To open your lift gate, there's just a button underneath here. Just pull it a little bit and it is somewhat assisted, so don't worry it is not heavy and or difficult to open inside we are given tons of space we have also added a cargo liner in this beautiful vehicle so it is a velcro on cargo liner so it doesn't move which is great it's not flimsy and it doesn't obstruct if you do want to lift this second or so, sorry third row seating it does split in half there as you can see so it does not get in the way for anything that you would want to do a few other features they've added is our beautiful tunnel cover here so, to clip that on, it just goes into those inserts there, and everything is hidden from the view of the passengers when you are driving around. And putting that back, sorry, just getting a little stuck on those seat belts. We also have our 400 watt power outlet as well as a 120 watt power outlet. So I love that they've added these back here. I'm a big camping person myself and I've run into the problem a few times that somebody wants to blow up an air mattress and the only power outlet that they have is in the very front center of the vehicle and they only give you a two inch cord. Now how are you supposed to blow up an air mattress inside of a vehicle? I still haven't figured that one out yet, but the makers of this 4Runner have, and they've realized that it is impossible, so they've added this back here to give you the convenience of doing things like that. So there you have it. I just want to point out that that one side of the second row is folded down, and of course you have the ability of flipping the other side down, which will eliminate those back seats completely, however it will definitely extend that cargo space for you. So really anything that you would like to do with this 4Runner, whether it be carrying passengers, carrying building materials, going off-road, we can definitely make it happen. All right, guys, if you haven't fallen in love with this 4Runner yet, this is going to definitely make you fall in love with it. Under the hood here, we are looking at a 4-liter V6 engine with 24 valves and dual variable valve timing with intelligence. Now, not only does this give you so much power, she's also very fuel efficient as well. You're looking at approximately 12.8 liters for 100 kilometers in this vehicle. And just to put into perspective how much power it gives you, we're given 5,000 pounds of towing. So for that fuel efficiency and that power, I don't think you can get much better than that. So there you have it everyone, the 2016 4Runner SR5 7 passenger in a beautiful alpine white. And if you like what you're watching, go check out our YouTube channel because we have tons of videos of all the cars, trucks, and SUVs that we have here on the lot, plus some extras. So don't forget to press like, subscribe, and share them with your friends. Hope you liked it, guys. Have a good one.